Hello, hello to all amazing people and welcome to another episode of Ember World and let's maze it out some more in this amazing game uh, where you will build towers to tower defense your way out of it, right? Anyhow, decided to play it a little bit more. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video. Uh, right, there's like some spooky stuff going on right now, probably because there was Halloween recently. A new unlock, the Chrono Traveler, a mysterious traveler. He has witnessed a lot of things. You can change your character at the start of each run. Right, uh, so let's do... Oh, there's a new map, Misty Graveyard. At the graveyard deep in the Misty Forest, scouts have reported strange happenings. We're gonna do this. I'm not sure if this thing will stay around. I'm surprised it's still here, actually, since, well, it's been like a week or so uh, since Halloween passed. Anyway... Hopefully it stays, hopefully it stays. Like, usually people like this kind of things, and then they're like, hey, leave it in, leave it in. Uh, Mystic Graveyard, the peaceful Mystic Graveyard is formed by monsters. Adventurers coming to help must use rewards earned in battles to strengthen their defenses. Do your best to fend off the attacks. Oh, it's like a puzzle thing or something like that. I don't know, I don't know, it's a special mode, let's let's see, let's see, so yeah, it seems like the developer is like experimenting a little bit uh, with different things. Let's grab the cannon tower maybe, I don't know, or frost tower, but like frost tower is such a bad idea, if, you know what, let's grab the frost tower. <laughs> it's a bad idea, let's grab it anyway, okay, let's see, prepare for the first wave, seven skeletons, right? Well, it looks all nice and spooky. I like it. Um, I think I'm gonna start from the fire air and build outwards. And that means we're gonna like first close it off nicely. So we can control from which direction the enemies are coming in from. We do have the upgrade where the, the tower, my main tower is shooting. Can we put? Okay, we can. So I don't have to worry. Uh, how do we rotate? Oh, with E and Q, right? Isn't that just lovely? And then I'm gonna start building outwards. In there. And we play with like a fairy the novice. I wonder if we always have to play with fairy the novice here. Alright. This is kind of pricey, so the idea here is that this thing will slow the enemies down. Okay. But yeah, it seems like the fire source will be able to kill these, that's okay. Um, just gonna grab some coins. Butler Ward 45, wonderful. Basic tower, icicle tower. Oh, tower, the more damage inflicts. Uh, the lower enemy cell, the more damage inflicts. Okay, this is like a decent tower for like finishing things off. How much does it do? 6 DPS. And this thing, 3 DPS. Oof, so base damage of this one's better, also better range. Why would you ever take a basic tower over this one? Well, technically for the same damage... This one should cost 20, but this one does more the more damage enemies are, so... That's probably the right choice. Okay, I'm gonna use this pumpkin here to extend our maze's range. And then, let me think... I kind of wanna go and grab this, put a tower on this place here. But then I cannot use the... But this is fine, this is fine. There. Good. And there we go. Should be good enough. We can we can place more if I need to. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ghosts. Ghostlets and ghosts and like a big thing. Skeleton Guardian, 44 HP. That's a bit scary. That is dying kind of fast, though. That seems fine. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saving cash since I don't have it. Like, this is new. 
Magic Arrow Tower and Laser Tower. These are all new, I didn't see them yet. Cannot rotate and automatically fires Magic Arrow straight ahead. When the Magic Arrow hits a tower, it decreases that tower's attack speed by 25% for one second. Larger towers receive weaker effect. That's very interesting. Whoa, a gift from the Skeleton King. Get 100 coins. All monsters' movement speed increases by 20. Is this like an endless mode? Get 100 coins. All monsters' movement speed increases by 50% permanently. The attack speed of all existing towers, the range of all existing towers in the field, minus 20%. Okay. Draw two extra cards at the beginning of each round. Randomly freeze five blocks on the field. It's like a bonus. Oh, should I go attack speed and reduce range? That seems fine. More damage. Okay. Now this is interesting. So this thing can both damage enemies and increase the attack speed of this tower I place here. Wait, I have a better idea, like this. There. And then... And then, <laughs> then we can place another one like here. Right, right. There we go. But how much? Fire plus fifty percent arrows can pierce through an enemy. Oh, we need the arrows to pierce through an enemy. So basically we're making this one shoot super fast, but let's see about the whole piercing thing though. Oh, we got a necromancer. Oh, this one doesn't pierce, so we should give it pierce, there we go. Mm, the towers are not set up correctly when it comes to like... Yeah, they, they target highest HP, which is not smart. For, uh, most progress, I think. Ah! There we go. Okay, so this should be my main killer. I'm gonna give it double range, I think. Ooh, an artifact. Overcharge battery. When a monster charge effect is triggered, it releases chain lightning. Infinity damage. What is a charge effect? Would the Ventor crits? Okay, amplify poison. We don't have any poison. Each non critical hit by a tower increases its critical chance. Okay, let's go with that. And I think we'll do like. Mm hmm. What did I want to do? I want to do something, but 
20 skeleton, 15 ghosts, and 3 necromancer, 10 spook skeleton guardians. How are you supposed to? Isn't that like a little bit much? But it's good if they go through here, right? There. Oh, I need to increase this one's damage. There we go. Why was it so expensive? 34, oof, that's quite a bit. <laughs> this one's worthwhile to increase the damage because it's being like sped up by these dudes, so. Otherwise, this one's probably not. No. Oh, this range is not great. We can increase the range though, kind of price, yeah. I think I need some AoE. I might lose here, but that's okay. It was a fun little mode to try out. <laughs> Maybe we're fine. Okay, it seems we are fine. Okay, never mind. Shouldn't have doubted myself. Oh, a sniper tower. Ooh. <laughs> Drill tower. After placement, it drills down and destroys the block beneath it at the start of the next turn. Only affects player place blocks. Ah, okay. So you can, like, change your maze with this thing. That's really cool. I like it. This is OP. Fire missiles with deadly poison. What's the range on it? 12.45. Uh, 40 damage. Nah, this is just... Trust me when I say... These are amazing. And there, I'm going to place one there. Fit, 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 100%. Okay. It's not the best placement ever, but just because it's like increased damage is gonna be nice, I think. Okay. Well, I promised you we're gonna maze it out and we're gonna maze it out. Let's go. What is this? The Ver Beast. Okay, it seems like we're fine. Uh, good, 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 good. Oh, another relic. You can see the next card. No, thank you. Once per level, when the fire source is attacked, it does max HP by one. I uh, know. Okay, that might be good. At the start of each round, you earn interest equal 10% of your current goal. That's good. 
At the end of each wave, five of your towers will randomly transform into another tower the same size in your loadout. Okay. Now this is what we need. It's a bit risky, but I think it's the only way to properly grow, so... Gain two random two times two tower that can be built for free. Random spawn 20 crypto tiles on the field. Yeah. Ban the last tower you have you have for the next five rounds. Ooh. There are two extra cards. You'll be attacked by a swarm of spiders in the next three rounds. This is a bit scary. This seems nice. It's gonna ban what though? This? I think so. Oh, I see. It's gonna forbid me for building it. Okay, well that's okay, we already have two, so. Okay, I'm gonna close this off. There, now they have to go through here. I'm gonna put a slowing tower and then five rounds. Okay, I wanna save cash if I can. This is a bit risky, but looks good though. Looks good. Dun, 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 dun. I'm actually going to speed up this thing. I'm going to tell them to attack the most progress. There we go. Nah, it just destroys everything after that buff. Good, 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 good. Dark Tower, okay. So this does poison damage. 5 DPS for 10. We can gamble with this thing. Feeling lucky? Your number roll the determines the attack rate of the tower. Well, I'm not feeling particularly lucky. I'm gonna grab that. We can receive 50 gold from the Velt Vault. That's amazing. Okay. There we go. Okay, I should probably put a tower on this tile. I don't know. Should I like <laughs> I can see this fire rate going up. I wish I could see DPS for like a damage, complete damage done for just the previous round. That would be very useful. This is nice, but you know. Fireforge. Right. Well, I'm gonna continue building around the place. So the longer paths enemies have, the more time my sniper tower has to mess them up. Oh, actually. Oh, that's nice. There we go. Okay, let's go. I wanna like try not to spend cash because of the Velt Vault. I get like extra, extra money every round that I don't spend. Although this does look a little bit scary, not gonna lie. Oh, there's a chest. Um... Damage up might be good though. Spooky! Okay. 
Mm, looks okay-ish. Oh, we got a big dude in here. Mm. Oh no. Oh, my towers got like disabled. Should be fine though, I think. Again, the less money I spend, the more I get from the Veld Vault. It's the greediest of plays, but I love it. I think you're fine. Probably. Also, if they reach it, it's not like you die immediately. We have HP, 20 HP to be exact. Okay, good. Yay, bonus reward. Right. Uh... Once standard poison effect, 10 per, take 10 plus 10 percent damage. When your tower crits, deal 50 percent of damage to gain damage to the highest HP monster within 10 tiles. That might be good. We have some towers that might crit. Uh, when you kill a monster affected by chill effect, the frozen energy spread slows down in brown monsters. Okay, when a poison monster takes electric damage, okay, I'm gonna go with this. Monsters under poison effect and take plus 10 percent damage. And uh, we're gonna make sure that enemies get poisoned. And we're gonna go here and I'm gonna change this one to attack the one with the most HP. So that way they're gonna poison uh, the biggest amounts of enemies. Now these are not the best poison towers ever. But um, they'll have to do for now. Okay. Now, I could really use an AoE tower. Alright. I mean, I did make quite a few. Okay. Alright. So I'm trying to figure out right now if I need more towers. I think I do. Yeah, definitely I do. Something's gonna breach. Okay. It's not the end of the world, but... And yeah, and the waves probably get harder and harder, right? So... I mean, we know they will. And yeah, something's gonna go through again, something big. That's not good. I think we lose 13, 8. Ah, my greedy ways. And now we have these big guys who are just like really hard to kill. I don't think I can greet, greet it out. Oh, this will help. This is a, an AoE tower. Landmine tower. Places mines along the path of monsters within range with the maximum five mines of field maintenance. The mines are spent quickly during the preparation phase. Okay, let's go for an AoE tower. That's gonna help a lot actually. <laughs> Obtain two random relics. The range of all existing towers is minus 20%. Get one coins. Ban one times one towers for next three rounds. 
Ooh, the critical rate of all the existing towers in the field plus 20% though. This might be fine though. Let's go with this. Now things will creep like crazy. I can only build this, but that's fine. I wanted to build that anyway, so. So right now, one of my problems is enemies clump up a lot, and I don't really have a lot of AoE. So, yeah. Do I have, like, any AoE? Not really, no. So I hope this helps, like, a lot. So hopefully these can take care of the most of the small guys, and then... The big ones can be dealt with with by my other focus fire towers. Let me... Ah, we can't put slowdown towers anymore, okay. I don't know, they have some kind of shields and effects and... Hey, it's spooky! It's spooky, I think we might just lose here, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know, let's 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 power up the sniper tower this time. Uh. Nope, things went through anyway. All right, wave nine. Uh, okay, it's a fun little mode. I like it. So, yeah, it seems like it's an endless mode, and some people apparently don't have a lot. <laughs> no, I'm just joking around. Like, what in the world? Like, really? 2,220 waves somebody played through? That's insane. Like, how long does that take? Just if you just let it through just to run all the time, it would take like a million years. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's... Well, if that's legit, it's amazing, right? I mean, it looks legit. Usually when somebody cheats, it's like nine, it's like some stupidly big number. Mm, this is... Suspicious. But anyway, uh, let me see if they added some new things. I hope you enjoyed it, though. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me see. If I just play like a... Uh, normal map here. Right, we know about the tiny. So there's a new champion, which we wanna try. Just a character, Chrono Traveler, a mysterious traveler. He has witnessed a lot of things. Time travel. The first round has a 30 second preparation time limit, and there are only 3 seconds of preparation time between each round, unaffected by any other effects. 0.5 game speed cannot be used during battle. Time control acceleration. You can use overcharge skill 2 times per round. Time control deceleration. Your focus fire is replaced by Chrono Bubble. Slowing down monsters in a large area, usually up to two, uh, two times per round. Okay, this is hard, actually. Like, he... Um, you can't slow down or pause or, well, yeah, anything, so... Okay, I'll try this in the next episode. Let me know if you enjoyed this one in the comments. If you did, I'm gonna, like, try him out. Well, I'm gonna probably try him out anyway. Do leave the comment, though. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Do some nice things. Be kind to each other. And let's make the road a better place together. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of the Ember World, where apparently we are gonna be using the Chrono Traveler in whatever I picked here. Or maybe I changed my mind and choose something else. We'll see. The Nimr signing out. Bye-bye.